Hey you guys, sometimes people ask me what are some things that are important for a boy to learn or a man to learn and it has to do with accountability, with freedom, with increasing responsibility. So every boy should learn to make his bed, participate in family activities, participate in family chores, get an allowance so he learns to manage his money, have an outlet for physical activity and have a time for friends, have his feelings acknowledged and learn, start learning from his dad how to fix a car, how to start a fire in the wilderness. I think Boy Scouts is really good for boys. Boys really need to be challenged, but they also need to learn manners. They need to learn how to treat women, which they observe from how dad treats mom. And they need to have a loving relationship from their mother so they can learn that women are sources of love, nurturing, and comfort. They also have to be responsible um, and get good grades in school and turn in their homework. I know when my kids were little, if they forgot their homework and called, a lot of parents would bring that homework to school, but I didn't because I wanted them to learn responsibility and that mom isn't going to come and rescue them. Uh, they need to be respectful to adults and in high school they should get a job so that they learn how to apply for a job, that they learn work ethic, working for money, being part of a team, getting along with a manager, and learning how to work. There are so many kids who were coddled or they got some job that their parents got them at some you know, through their friends or some boards that they were on, and those kids never had to apply for a job. When they apply for a job, they send a thank you letter to thank the, uh, the manager for interviewing them. You write a thank you letter. You shake someone's hand. You look in their eyes and shake their hands. Boys should spend as little time as possible on their phones or TV. A couple hours of screen time a week is sufficient. They should be focusing on their schoolwork, their hobbies, their activities, and building good habits and good discipline. Boys need to have a healthy diet. They need to get enough sleep. They need to get enough exercise. And their body should be healthy and fit. They should be getting regular dental checkups, uh, physical checkups. If there's something hurting them, they should be taken to the doctor because it's important to show them that their health matters and that their parents care about them. When they're old enough to drive, they should be taught how to drive and get a driver's license. Um, I also think when they're little, it's so important to have a school that allows them to uh, pursue their hobbies and their interests so that learning becomes something fun rather than something they hate. Unfortunately, a lot of schools today or horrible places that make you sit and read uh, so that you can fill out the right bubble answers on a multiple choice test under this child, no child left behind where they've taken out PE and woodworking and, uh, and other things. If your son likes to play an instrument, let him. If the instrument he wants to learn isn't taught at his school, get him private lessons if you can, else now we have the internet, they can learn that on there. A boy should learn how to do laundry and do housework. I, it was so funny. I was um, with my kids a few months ago, and my son, who is in medical school, was showing me how he had sewn a button on his shirt because he had to wear this button-down shirt for an event. And he's like, look, Mom, I sewed this button on my shirt. And I was so proud of him because I remember it when my kids were younger. I taught my sons how to sew a button on a shirt because <laughs> I said one day... You may have to go on a job interview and that button came off to your shirt. You have to know how to sew a button on a shirt. You have to know how to iron. And I also taught them how to knit, just basic knitting because it develops the left and right brain. They need to learn how to cook and boys actually love cooking. So that way they can uh, take care of themselves. They know how to clean, how to cook, how to iron, having responsibility, having discipline, having a routine, having structure. And the worst thing for boys is being on their phones a lot because now they're passive to life. They don't 
they're not engaged in anything meaningful. They're not able to challenge themselves. They're not finding pleasure in learning. They're just passively playing these video games and not to say anything against it, I think my sons also play video games, but very little. Um, video games and porn, which is super bad because in porn, you're getting aroused to a screen. You haven't had to put in any effort to court that woman, to speak to a woman. Usually sex with a woman is something that a man gets because he invests a lot of effort. Social skills, he's had to face rejection. He's had to put himself out there. He's had to talk to a woman and court a woman. And this was a huge uh, undertaking, emotional investment, time investment, consistency. And then finally, the reward of the woman acknowledging him and having sex with him. And this has all been short-circuited to where he can just click things on his phone and get many more times that dopamine rush, but without the actual satisfaction that comes from having done something meaningful. It's kind of like um, studying for a task or studying for, um, say you're practicing for a, a, a 10K race and you get out there and you practice and it's hard and you keep practicing and then, and then you run the race. And no matter how you do, you feel good because you did your best. You put your effort in. You may even get a trophy as opposed to you're just watching people running on a phone. You're just watching people run while you just sit there. That's the same thing that porn does. It gives people, it's like me watching workout videos. <laughs> like that looks really fun, but I'm not doing it. So uh, that's why being sedentary is really bad. And when you're, when men are sedentary, they're not challenging themselves. They're not doing anything meaningful. So they don't get that sense of satisfaction and they're losing their social skills. And so it's become more and more that the people who are not on their phones actually have the advantage in the world because they have longer attention spans and they actually are going out and making real connections. Um, a man should be able to walk into a place and apply for a job. He should be able to go up to a woman and start a conversation. He should be able to go up to other men and start a conversation. He should be in men's groups if possible and have or have male friends. If he's struggling with something, he goes to therapy to work it out because he wants to powerfully go through his life and not be held back by things he learned in his childhood. He, um, he may have pets that he cares for or cares about, and he gives his best effort. He doesn't do quiet quitting. If he doesn't like his job, he will work hard, learn something else, and look for another job. Um, the school system has unfortunately taken a lot of pleasure out of learning. I myself, I'm a big fan of Montessori, and having children develop a love of learning. A boy and a man also need time out in nature to bond with nature. That is the connection to the earth. That's where you find your power, your strength, your masculinity. Uh, if you have never been in Boy Scouts, do some outdoor stuff with other men, like kayaking, outdoor adventuring into the wilderness, learning to live off the land, like really physically challenging yourself through exercise, through outdoorsy stuff. Um, also consider getting a job in the trades. So many men have backed off from wanting to work in the trades as an electrician, as a plumber, as a uh, roofer, as a contractor doing construction. And they're saying, why should I work that hard? I can, McDonald's now is paying $22 an hour. So some men could say, why should I work so hard as a roofer? at 25 an hour when I can work at McDonald's for 22 an hour. Where are you going to get more physical strength, more uh, meaning, more of a sense of accomplishment? So the important things for men to do in their 20s, I believe, is to are to develop really, really solid habits. Discipline is key. You get enough sleep, you don't drink, uh, you're learning something, you're studying and you're working. Uh, you also exercise, you eat well and you study and you're working. That's what, even if you're tired, you keep studying, you keep working. 
um, this is the time to develop, develop really good habits, to challenge your habits, getting up early with the sun. My son was telling me, my boys love always challenging themselves. My one son was telling me he had listened to Andrew Huberman talking about the research on the morning sun. And I had heard that podcast as well, where when you wake up, you want to look at the sun and that will, the photons, something in your eyes, you know, responds to the light and wakes you up. But my son went into it a little more. He said that it's actually just the early morning sun, the low sun that will do it. It's not the high sun. If you wake up at eight, it's too late. It's that early morning low sun that we're evolved to that wakes us up when we look at it, the natural light. And um, artificial light in your room won't do it. This is how being in touch with nature and listening to these kind of podcasts from Jordan Peterson and Andrew Huberman will, or, or Joe Rogan give you ideas for discipline and good habits. And these kind of good habits will help you for life. Staying up all night is not that good. Early to bed, early to rise, get up with the sun that gives you, wakes you up for the day. Uh, cooking your own food, uh, having male roommates, having buddies, having friends, and sticking around people who are also working on things and making their life better. Anybody else who is still drinking a lot or not on their purpose, uh, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't ever talk to them, but don't spend time with people like that. Build good habits in your 20s. If you meet a woman that you fall in love with who's also developing those same habits and you date her, I don't think that will take you back from your path at all. Um, a good woman will add to your life. A good woman will add to your life. She will appreciate you. She will encourage you. She will admire you. She'll want to fuck you. She'll want to uh, take care of you as you take care of her. And it can actually make your life better because now you have a friend to go through life with and you can share the expenses of life because it's getting more and more expensive. You can have someone that takes turns cooking with you. Um, and so there are just so many benefits to having like a, a, a partner at your own level. Uh, uh, I think that's, that's all I can think of. I think reading is good. Listening to podcasts is good. And... Um, um, and then one day you will be a man that can pass on, you know, find good mentors. That's good. Find mentors, find men that want to build you up, like men that you work for, men that you know, that like to help other men. They're passing along what was given to them. And one day when you're in the position of power where you can hire men or teach other men, then you will pass that along as well. That's all I've got. If anybody else has any other tips for men, please leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching my video.